What's going on guys, Ollie here and welcome back to a brand new video. So today we have the Foot Champ highlights. The rewards videos are out already. If you guys missed it, link will be in the description. But this is a team I did go 29 and 0 with. Yes, I say 29 and 0, not 29 to 1, 29 and 0. Yes, I did kind of, you know, not play my last game simply because I ran out of time. I'll explain the story later, but this is my team. Lewandowski, Vieira, Mbappe, Messi, Neymar. I see still use the same tactics, but, I mean, they released a new patch and I'm kind of not enjoying playing the game right now with my tactics. So I might have to change them up, which means there will be another custom tactic video coming up very, very soon. But Sissoko with the ball here, Mbappe, quick pass to Lewandowski. You know how it goes, Lewandowski don't miss. Now, as I did say, 29-0, I'll tell you guys the story. Basically, Weekend League was extended by 24 hours. Now, on Friday, I don't usually play my game simply because I don't really like the gameplay on Friday. It is always terrible. I think too many people obviously get onto the game and all of a sudden the gameplay just goes to crap pretty much. So I try not to play on Fridays, but I do play on Saturdays and Sundays. Mostly I like to play all my games on Sundays simply because if I play like a majority of my games, I use the first few games as like a warm up. Then I'm usually on quote unquote on fire to my later games. And that's when I start turning up because they're the hard games. So yeah, that's kind of how that goes. But I did manage not to finish my games, as I said. Reasons. Now, Saturday, Sunday wasn't at home. I was actually at the Fnatic headquarters coaching my guy Tex uh, for the Club World Cup, pretty much. So, I couldn't really play weekend league. There was a setup there, but I was more into, like, the coaching kind of thing than, you know, me playing my weekend league games all of a sudden. But, yeah, so I had that Saturday, Sunday. I actually slept around as well, so I, could, I didn't come home. It was, like, an hour and a half away from home, so... I'm not going to just come back for one night just to go there and spend more money again. So there's no there's no point. So I just stayed overnight. Wasted the sat Not quite got wasted, but helped to mate out pretty much Saturday and Sunday. And yeah, so I come back on a mon well Sunday night slash, mon uh, slash Monday. I got back quite late, I'm not going to lie. And I heard obviously they extended it by 24 hours. I was going to play all my games Sunday, but, but as soon as I knew they uh, what they call it extended by 24 hours, I was like, nah, I'm gonna go to bed. I'm tired. So I didn't play any games Sunday or Saturday or Friday, which comes down to Monday. Now I had a full day Monday free, but I was making videos as well. So I was playing obviously rivals at the same time. Trying to get all my, you know, player reviews out. Trying to get all the content for you guys. And, yeah, pretty much it came down to, like, I think it was, like, 10 p.m. I kind of finished all my videos, or 11, can't really remember. And then I had to do something for my dad. So that extended it even more. So the actual time I started playing my Champs game, all, all 30 games, was at 3 a.m. 3 a.m. to play 30 champs, 30 champs games in four hours. I managed 29. I did match a guy that was 28 and 0 at the same time as me being 28 and 0, and it was like I needed to win that game quickly, and just to get the guy out of there. But the guy did not want to leave, and the, the fact that this guy waited till 7 p 7 a.m. so I couldn't get my last game in, just pissed me off in a way. But at the same time. We didn't get top 100, we did get Elite 1 of 29, which is a bit disappointing because I was expecting that top 100. But I wasn't, it kind of, I, to be fair, I wasn't even expected to finish my games, I'm not going to lie. It came to, I think it was, I was 25 and 0 and there was, I think there was 40 minutes left at 25 and 0. So I had to rush my games out, there was no time. Over. I went all out attack, I'm pretty sure I started some games at actually 3 at the back, just to get the guy to rage quit so I could score as much goals as possible. I don't know, man. It was a tough week. It was a tough week. I 100% know it won't be happening next week and I will be completing all 30 games. Hopefully, I can get obviously top 100 again. It's such an elite one if if I'm having a bad week. But Neymar with the ball here. Do get luck in a bounce. Hit it near post. 23 minutes in. 3 0 up. The guy's still going to stay in. Lewandowski running with the ball. You know Lewandowski. He feels so nice on the ball. And it's actually quite surprising saying a six foot player feels nice. Like, his finishing is amazing. I can't say it anymore. He's finishing. He's just left foot, right foot. They both go in. 
Sissoko with the ball though. Mbappe back to Sissoko to Lewandowski. Lewandowski, quick heel to heel. Right there, I could have passed the name, I feel like. But I feel like he would have brought out the keeper if I kind of did that. By the way, this foot Mr. Sissoko card. Oh my god. Now, I will... I Well, it's a bit late that I haven't done a play review on him, I must admit. But he did come out with him and... Him and Mendy came out at, on Saturday and Sunday, which I was at the Fnatic headquarters. So, I couldn't really do a play review there. So, yeah, that was a bit... Not the greatest situation. So, I did miss out on two of, like, probably the biggest players in foot miss. But I will most likely be doing a review on Sosoko still. Just to give you guys extra content. Why not? I might as well do it. Oh, I have the card. Messi with the ball here though, easy near post, outside foot shot. I, I, what have I told you guys about that trait? I told you guys that trait is calm, it is literally the best trait in the game. I personally think it's better than a finisher trait, that's all I'm going to say. Now Messi with the ball, just skipping past players like there's no tomorrow. Neymar to Lewandowski, quick heel to heel and you know Lewandowski, easy finish. 4-0 though and he's still not leaving, he wants more, what's happening here? Teliso passes it all the way to Neymar, Neymar. I already know what I'm going to do. Just ball around the keeper. There's just, it's just IQ. It's just IQ. You don't need to rush your shots. Because you know the keeper's going to automatically come out of you at some point. Neymar with the ball. Positive to Messi. Messi with the ball. What is he going to do? Let's see him. Now, I do see Lewandowski there in a way. But I pass it to Neymar. Then pass to Lewandowski. Pass it one more to Mbappe. Just kind of outpace him. Look at his close quarter dribbling. Lewandowski. Bye-bye. Hot dog stand. Where you at? You know what I'm saying? Lewandowski. But yeah, talking about this Footman Sissoko card, this Sissoko card is just... I personally think it's one of the best CDMs that I've actually tried this year. I I compare him to Vieira, that's how good he is. Like, him and Vieira, oh my god. Now, the only problem with Link, obviously, having them together is the fact that both of them can't really go forward. Now, this Sissoko card can kind of go forward now because of this upgrade, but at the same time... He's no, like, Kante that can go forward. He's no, like, Taliso that can kind of go forward. He's none of them players that can actually go forward. He's more of a person that is okay going forward, but amazing at defense. Now, you don't want, obviously, two of them players because, simply, you're going to have Vieira and uh, Sissoko together. They're both just going to be defended, pl defensive pl uh, CDMs. And you're never going to go forward. It's simple as that. Now, Mbappe with the ball, positive to Neymar. You know me. Easy finesse shot. 3-1, the guy is going to rage quit. Bradford City. Interesting, interesting. Now, MND with the ball to Lewandowski. Lewandowski could have finessed that, to be fair, but I wanted to play one more to Neymar. Why not? Guy at Van der Sar. What a finish, by the way, by Neymar. Jesus Christ. But it is what all big struggles in this game. Messi with the ball running down the wing. The guy doesn't expect me to keep running. I do cut back, though. Lewandowski with the ball. Quick drag back. Ball roll into the space, into the gap. Easy finish near post. Oh yeah, I forgot to mention the Mendy card. Oh my god. This is guaranteed the best left back I have ever used in this game. No doubt. Like, I, the Alexandra I did use and he was actually pretty decent. He wasn't terrible. I was expecting him to be worse. But he ain't even that bad. Now, this, for like, this Mendy card, I reckon he'll be around in my team for a very long time. I doubt I will probably get Robertson. I'm kind of leaning more towards Trent Arnold. Because I do feel like Van Dijk, Trent Arnold and Robertson are all going to get it. Plus Allison as well. So we're going to see a lot of Liverpool players getting team in the year. That's all I'm going to say. But uh, yeah, Trent Arnold. I feel like he's going to be really, really good. Because he is quite tall. And he's going to be quite He's going to be quite strong and very fast. So I feel like he's going to be an amazing player. Because he's long passing and short passing is going to be insane as well. So that's gonna obviously going to be nice to have with a link up to Virgil van Dijk. And I'll probably link him up with Alisson as well. Now on the left side, I feel like I'm going to probably keep Furla Mendy because this guy is so good. Now obviously, you know, I haven't really tried, uh, I haven't, well, no one's tried Robertson yet. But I, would, I will be trying him. Hopefully I'll be doing a play review on him if I can afford him depending on how much he is. I reckon he'll probably go for 700k. I don't, because left back and right backs usually don't go for a massive amount. Because I remember Marcelo was so good back in, I think it was FIFA, was it FIFA 19? Or FIFA 18? Can't remember. But actually, yeah, I think it was FIFA 19. If I'm wrong, let me know in the comments. Anyway, that team of Neo Marcelo from obviously FIFA 19 was amazing. So, and he was very, very cheap as well. He was around 700, 800k. So I'm hoping Robertson can be around that price as well. 
And him being in a good league and obviously in a good team, it's going to be very exciting. But look at the strength by Lewandowski, by the way. Fighting for the ball. Easy goal. 4-1. 83rd minute. Bye-bye. Lewandowski with the ball, though. Passes to Mbappe. Mbappe, quick drag back forwards. I don't know why I'm really doing it. But look at the double ball roll coming into play. What have I told you about this skill move? It's a new, it's a new way of getting angles. The little cheeky double ball roll. Now Suzoko to Taliso. Taliso, I did try to do a super pass to Mbappe. We do get lucky though just to get the bounce to uh, Lewandowski. Make it 2-1. 81st minute now. Suzoko nicely, calmly on the ball. Pass to Lewandowski. Lewandowski, quick drag. Look at that first time. Uh, scooped out my name up, by the way. Low key, I think I wanted a fake shot that I ain't going to cut. Now, Samada to Talisa, Talisa to Lewandowski, Lewandowski, quick fake shot once again, you know him, quick outside foot. It's all looking nice though, it's all looking nice. Mbappe with the ball running down the wing here, Mbappe just going to cut into the corner, Lewandowski, look at that little, the little shimmy fake, you know what I'm saying? 2-0, bye-bye, rage quit. I played a guy that had a twitch, what? Mendy with the ball though to Bailey, Bailey, what are you going to do? Yeah, oh yeah, at this point, I remember I started getting pissed off at Mbappe. Because I was struggling in the game and Mbappe was taking bad touches, like, every game. So, I started getting very, very pissed off. But look at that play, by the way. Back stick to Messi. Messi headers it down to Neymar because I feel like I don't really trust him at this season. Obviously, headering. So, I kind of just tapped it down. Now, look at that little fake to... Oh, it's beautiful. Now, right here. Neymar, I see Messi backstick once again. I don't trust him. Messi's headering. That's a little tactic. If you guys are do see that guy backstick wide open, obviously cross it. Just hold X. Don't put too much power into it, but just hold X and just swing it backstick. And make sure you always tap it into the middle because usually when the person headers the ball is not the greatest. If it's on the volley, go for it near post. Make sure it's near post. Don't go far post. But if it's on the head, then mm -mm, don't trust it at all. 2-0, 5 minutes, get out of my game. Quick, quick, quick. Mendy with the ball, though. Going to pass to Mbappe. Mbappe, what are you going to do? Pass to Lewandowski. Lewandowski to Messi. Messi, quick turns. That right there, he needs to kind of use the outside foot, but he didn't. 25 minutes in, though. Lewandowski with the ball. See what I can do. Kind of get lucky. See what the keeper's animation. Animation's going everywhere. Does bounce out to Taliso, though. Going to take my time. Neymar, quick turn. Quick shot. Lucky rebound. Sometimes you need the luck. Okay, that's all I'm going to say. Now, I'm going to take a bit of water because this is a long video. And my mouth is getting a bit dry. But Lewandowski to Neymar. Neymar. Hey, you know Neymar. Them near post shots are OP. I had to drink a bit of water. Messi with the ball. Quick finishes. Look at this. 2 all. 53rd minute. What's happening in this game? Oh, yeah. And Mbappe's off the pitch again. Bailey, quick fake shots. Look at those, look at those. Mm, not a great... Mm, mm, bit lucky, a bit lucky. Now, I should have probably first time passed that to Neymar there because there was a wide open gap. The guy kind of gives me that and he moves the keeper the wrong way. I don't know what he was doing. He should have just held Y. He, he probably would have had that. 80 second mid. That guy gave me a challenge as well. 1-0 down. Now, as you can see, I was going 1-0 down in a lot of games. And to be 1-0 down in a lot of games when you have to play 30 games in four hours... It's not very pretty, it's not very pretty because it gives the opponent hope. I shall say that. Now, Talisa with the ball, positive to Neymar. Neymar, quick fake short into the gap. I am going to bury it though. Look at that finish from Neymar. It's beautiful, it's beautiful to see. Messi with the ball, passes it to Neymar. Neymar, do quick skill moves into Lewandowski. Quick fake shot to get the angle of the outside foot shot. That little fake shot, you guys need to start doing it because it, honestly, it gives you an angle that the defender, that it's kind of tough to read it at some point. And if you can get that near post shot off, it's most likely a guaranteed goal. That right there is a very lucky goal though. Like the guy was standing there, standing there. obviously he wasn't controlling him, but AI at the end of the day. That was a stupid pass from him, he shouldn't have done that pass though. Ooh, ooh, put some sauce on him. What's happening here? Why is this such a long replay? Neymar, Lewandowski. Hey, Lewandowski with the first time shot. Say no more, say no more. But look at this team coming up against Pele. We got the Pep. We got the... Eh, it's, it's all right, team. It's all right. Over the top 10. Mbappe. Mbappe with the ball. Quick ball roll out. So look at him. He's sending PK for hot dogs. Going to see. Hit it near post with Messi. See right there. I could take it with Messi's right foot and completely fake the guy. But I knew this guy wasn't the greatest. So, some points you just have to change it up. 
There is good. Look at this goal, by the way. How lucky can you get? How lucky can you get that your play takes a perfect touch and just like just dribbles around my box like this on tomorrow? That football right there, right there. I that's my mistake. He does a nice fake shot though. Very nice fake shot. That's well played for me. That's my mistake there. I should be holding RT, not LT there. Like, I'm holding RTLT there, but I should just be holding RT just to catch up first. Neymar with the ball, quick fake shot, quick hill to hill towards the player. Sometimes they don't read it. Like, they read a, there's always someone that reads a side, and I knew this guy wasn't reading straight down the middle. Bailey with the ball, though. Beautiful skill moves to Lewandowski just to create, just to create the chance. Like, that was my number one go to. I ain't gonna cap. Subbing off Mbappe to Bailey, and Bailey was doing the work when he came on, I must admit. Perfect play here. Mendy to Suzoko. Calm play to Lewandowski. Quick pass to Bailey. Bailey, can you finish it? Obviously, you can. Right there, I kind of waited for the guy to move the keeper because I know he was doing it. But look at this team. Jesus Christ. Gorinchka, Drogba, Zola. He's got all of But four minutes in, we do intercept the ball very, very high up. Nemo the ball. I know the guy's not coming towards me. I see it. I see it. When, when you start to slow down, I see them stuttering. When you see them stuttering, you know the guy's not going to try to read near post. Beautiful skill move from Neymar, though. Look at him. He's on He's on Virgil. He's on Virgil van Dijk. There's, like, there's no tomorrow. Neymar's telling Virgil, you can't defend me. Simple words. Stupid uh, shooter pass there from the opponent. Mbappe with the ball, though. Passes it short to Suzoko. Su Suzoko to Lewandowski. Lewandowski. That's a beautiful finish, I must say. Look at this, though. Makale. Isn't it? It's a pretty good team. It's pretty good. It's good defense, I must say. Good defense. Mbappe with the ball once again. See what you can do. I see Neymar short. What well, you're not going to be covering Neymar now, right there. That's very, very risky. I shouldn't be doing that. I should pass it to Neymar, yes, but I should take a touch and probably finesse far post. Simply because them first time shots are not the most consistent shot. Neymar with the ball, though. I do see Lewandowski wide open for a sweat, so I said why not? He does pause the game. Are we going to see a rage quit? Yes, we are. Now, look at it. It's a full goal team with that red Modric. Mm -mm -mm. Neymar with the ball here, though. Neymar running all the way, all the way. Keep going. That's it. Fake shot around the corner. Pass to Lewandowski. Sometimes when they bring out the keeper, you do have the ball roll. But other times, like most of the time, you're going to always have a passing option. You just need to find it. Maybe you have to kind of cut back sometimes for it. But there's always going to be an option. Hey, if I was nice there, I could have passed one more to Lewandowski. I just, I just looked that back. Like, looking back on these highlights, kind of low-key improves my game as well because I can see what I need to do and what kind of mistakes I kind of do. Now, Mbappe to Lewandowski, Lewandowski to Taliso, Taliso just can't play. Most likely pass to Sissoko, yeah, it's back to Taliso. Gonna take my time to Neymar. See, right there, if the guy was pretty good because I didn't, like, this guy is not, I must admit, it wasn't the greatest. Uh, he he would have came towards me there and he would have intercepted that. Like, I could have calmed my play there. No, that was a good goal, but I could have calmed my play there, not really passed the name out there, hold it with Taliso, because I didn't really need to go forward there. But Sissoko with the ball, and this is the one thing Footman Sissoko can do that the gold card can't do. Finish the ball. Finally, Sissoko can actually do it. Now, coming up against this team, he's got the Desai, he's got, I think that's David V up front. Yeah, David V up front, Pep. He's got a pretty decent team. Four minutes in, though, we pass to Taliso, Taliso with the ball. Pass to Messi, Messi to Neymar, Neymar to Lewandowski, Lewandowski, quick fake shot, maybe he should have got the ball there, I feel like he went a bit too far and then tackled, you have to perfectly time it otherwise it's going to end up like that, but that guy does kind of give the ball away in a stupid situation, Messi with the ball here, pass back to Taliso, Taliso, passes to Sissoko, I do see Lewandowski, Lewandowski get the fake shot, get the angle, get the goal, simple as, Pause the game. Are we going to see class on grass? Leave the game. Yes, we are. Now, this game. Oh, this is the last game. This is actually the guy that stayed in. This is the 29 and 0. This guy was really, really good. He was 28 and 0 at the time. So, I wasn't, I wouldn't say I was panicking, but, you know, I would say I, I knew he was a decent player straight off the back. 28 minutes in, 1 0 down already. Now, this guy is going to be playing the ball at the back a lot. So, now look at that pass. Now, when they kind of do that pass, it is a killer. But I don't know what he picked. I don't know what he clicked. He must have tapped it. Like, you need to put a little bit of power, at least, on it. But Lewandowski just going to kind of fake him with the head movement. We are going to bring it to one all, though. 49 minutes in. I keep looking at the time at this point, I must admit. 
Messi with the ball. Far post. Easy goal. I kept looking at the time. I was panicking. I was like, nah, I need to get this last game in. And as you can see, he's dropped the controller. And it is 7 p 7 a.m., which means it is the end of Weekend League. And when it is the end of Weekend League and a player drops a controller like that, you just know. You just know at some points that they wanted you to stay in so you're going to get your 30. But yeah, just going to walk around. The guy's not playing anyway, so it doesn't really matter. 3-1, though. End game. I think he did rage crit right here. Yeah. As soon as he hit 7, he left. Like, that's a killer, man. That's a killer. But as you can see, 29 and 0. Oh, I was salty. You could tell. I quickly skipped that. I was like, nah, nah, nah. What is this? What is this? Like, I tried to get the game in low key, see if it glitched or something. But it wasn't going to happen. It really wasn't. I went to see see where if 29s and stuff. Hopefully, I can squeeze in. Like, look at this. If I got 30, I was guaranteed top 100. And I needed to play that last game. And I was so sad. But if you guys did enjoy this Twitch channel highlights, leave a like, leave a comment. And trust me, I'll be playing all 30 games next week. So I won't have, you know, this 29 and 0 stuff. I'll probably have 28 to 2, something like that, because I'm probably saying this. And I'll jinx myself. But if you guys did enjoy this video, leave a like, leave a comment. And for now, peace.